Happy December Collective. It's your girl Veronica here to do a very traditional collective reading for you. Okay, we're going to take a look at December 2024, the last beautiful month of this year. Can you believe it? I cannot. It went too fast for me. We're going to see what we need to know as a collective. And uh, I will be doing readings for each sign as well. Secrets Revealed, I've already done a couple, so please do check the videos tab for more, okay? All right, here we go. The World in Reverse, so we're not quite done, which we already know. <laughs> All right, Recent History Justice Reversed, oh boy. Next step, Two of Wands Reversed, your foundation. Okay, that looks good. The Seven of Cups reversed and then Hierophant reversed. Wow, you've got some major arcanas in reverse. So you guys are still kind of holding on, waiting for something to change. So with us waiting for something to change or waiting for this cycle to complete itself, what is it? Well, it's illusions, disillusionment, and everything coming into focus, okay? And finally seeing things emotionally as they are, we have Pisces energy. Then what's crowning the situation, this is how it would normally look on my table, right? Okay. We are looking at contracts ending, marriages or partnerships of any kind ending. Um, not signing a contract is what it looks like. It's like refusing it or it's coming to a close. Um, for some of you, it's like you want something to come to a close, but it won't because the world is in reverse. So in your head, this is over or you're just waiting on timelines. And then your next step is like a physical decision, not a mental one, like which direction to take, which foot to put in front of the other. Do you go left or right? Basically, you have to figure out where you're going. And because you don't know where you're going, you can't allow something to complete itself. So there's that. This could also be a residential move. It could be mostly business. For some of you, if your emotions were getting in the way, you were confused about which cup to choose. I think you know what you want, you know where you want to go, but it's about how. How do I get there? Okay, so we have Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and um, Leo. Here's Taurus again. So you have Taurus twice. It could also be Taurus season, next year, and Aries. Okay. The water sign is Scorpio or Pisces, heavy on the Scorpio. It's more about that decision that has been plaguing you for a while. Like these two are moving away. So it's not about you being confused anymore. So it's more about waiting for the legalities to kind of complete itself. So again, I think it's a time frame that you guys are waiting on. Let me clarify some stuff for you. So the collective is in fact moving forward, but I think we're wanting to move forward faster than it can happen, okay? Hierophant in reverse. Some of you, it is definitely a job thing. Okay, the moon in reverse. Again, this is emotional energy in Scorpio for the third time. Scorpio people could be significant. Um, we're waiting on something that either happened in Scorpio season to complete itself or dealing with an actual Scorpio for this. Um, enlightenment did come through with the moon because that's clarifying it's not future and the seven of cups which is in your foundation moving into the past so you already know that's the answer you already know that something's over if anything was being concealed from you in terms of business contracts or court cases that's being revealed really soon if not already oh my god look at this as a clarifier to the justice card, this is either going to be a level up personally, spiritually, emotionally. This is going to be um, a divorce that's taken a while to finalize. This is going to be a reconciliation. If you were going to go through a divorce, someone is reconciling with someone. If you're single, then this is going to be a lot of self-love, a level up spiritually. Okay. If you're dealing with a Libra, a Scorpio, a Pisces, and on the back end, a Cancer. That could also be true. World reverse. So why are we stuck here? What is this? Uh-huh. Because you're not speaking about something. See, there's some sort of truth that's we're in the process for some of you to have it revealed. Some of you are healing from a, 
a broken situation. So some of you guys um, maybe got into a fight with someone. Some of you have been not on speaking terms. You've been quiet. Some of you guys are getting ready to speak the truth about how you really feel about something. Uh, once we do, you'll get out of the sleep mode. But yeah, for now, you're, you're not on speaking terms with something or someone. The something would be a contract like maybe you just haven't signed yet. Because a lot of times this can be represented by an ace of swords because it's hidden after heartbreak or pain or something that has been painful for you. If this is a relationship, some of you guys are healing from that, you know, legal connection that has been severed. Okay, show me the two of wands reversed. Where do you go? Well, this is, for some of you, this is gonna be quitting. Quitting the job, getting fired. Um, someone born in August, because this is my Virgo card, I would say you could be dealing with Virgo or a Leo Virgo cusper. So they'd be born in the 20s, you know, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd of August. They'd be considered both Leo and uh, Virgo. But yeah, look at that. Whew. So some of you guys are like, if you quit your job, if you got fired, if your partner spouse did, if a friend did, it's putting you in a position where you maybe have to speak up about something. This is again for the collective. So let me just kind of do your next step real quick. All right, so let's take a look here. For my collective, what's coming up for December 2024? Hello, for my collective. Okay, High Priestess in reverse sign of Pisces, recent history, the Hangman reversed also Pisces, next step, Three of Wands, that's um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and I'm knocking over stuff, sorry. Your foundation here is Temperance, Fire, Saggy Season, and the Moon Upright, okay. Um, this is kind of a contradiction for me. When the high priestess is in reverse, sometimes it means that you're not following your intuition or you're no longer keeping secrets. Because see, what's crowning is secrets. Um, people doing shady shit and you don't want to cover for them anymore. You want to be released from a situation emotionally. Uh, there's strong Pisces coming through, like real heavy. Three times, we also have Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius heavy. Aries can be here if they're born in March, okay? Um, Pisces, it doesn't matter when they're born. This next season, right, um, in December, I feel like because this is in the foundation, we're already here, right? So you've been really patiently waiting for something to get exposed. Stop, something your intuition has been telling you for a while, and you're really close to exposing it yourself if someone else doesn't do it. Because what's in your head here is the moon is knowing this, but what's right after that is exposing it. It can also be just like people thinking you're not intuitive at all about your circumstances, and I think that's not true at all. See, this is another block where you physically can't move forward. So again, I think someone is trying to psychologically screw you over. They're dragging this thing out as long as they can. This, again, could be your divorce, could be a business contract, um, any kind of partnership whatsoever. I think that someone, it could be you waiting on someone else to get divorced as well. So remember, it is a collective reading. It can go either way. I could be picking up on both sides or multiple sides. Yeah, let me see what we've been waiting on, Temperance. Um, some of you are being protected by a guardian angel. And look at what we get. Again, the Hierophant in reverse. You're waiting on a divorce and a severing of ties. That's what is a broken contract. We're waiting for this. It's already like happened, but you don't know it maybe. Okay, interesting. Okay, if you're a woman, I would say that you've been kind of this is a clarifier, it's not a future predictor. Hiding your emotions, you don't want people to know your shit or you've got an older female figure, okay? It could be a boss, a friend, an ex-friend, I don't care who it is, it's a feminine energy. Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus woman. And this person I feel like is shady as fuck and not in your best interest and I think the truth about this bitch is coming out. So if you're dealing with that, I feel like it's someone that's abused their power in your life. So again, could be a mother figure, could be a boss. Is someone that seemed, I said seemed, to have clout or whatever. But I don't think they're they're coming correct at all. And I feel like they're trying to 
hide their identity or hide their intentions. So I intend on being pretty and nice and, and respectful and all this on the surface, but really I'm just doing all kinds of nasty shit behind your back and you don't know it. Or this is something someone did in the past. Like I feel like it's old energy. So they did this in the past and like you weren't aware that they were working against you. I think that's all coming out. You probably know now because I don't really see anything happening here. Let me see what this block is physically. So you're trying to avoid conflict and that actually, I'm telling you maybe you need to blow up, blow some shit up, speak your truth, whatever you need to do. If you need to turn someone in for wrongdoing, and I mean illegal shit or something that could potentially harm another person, who cares if it's going to slow you down? It's the right thing to do. If it's not the right thing to do and you've got something else you need to do, you need to protect yourself, that's kind of what's happening. Some of you guys are just trying to avoid conflict moving forward toward the end of December, okay? Because the next step moves us into January. Let's see kind of who this reading is intended for and or if this is about someone in your life, we'll see their sign. This can also be a timeline that you need to pay attention to or you already know. A lot of times these readings, even though they're future tense, um, a lot of times you'll know if it's your story or not, okay? So don't force the messages. Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, and then on the back end, Taurus. Taurus, Gemini, Leo, and Scorpio. Um, Gemini and Taurus are both in May, so May could be important to you, June I'm sorry, July, August could be important to you. And then um, October, November. So we just got out of Scorpio season. Everything else appears to be in the future. I don't want to go too far in the past, but if you're dealing with these people, fine. I don't know, man. Um, I just kind of look at it like you just need to, if you're waiting for something to happen, maybe some of you need to open your mouth. Because my gut says with that four of swords where you had the three swords above you and that like you were sitting on the sword, it's like you're sitting on that info. But I understand that you don't want to cause grief or trouble at the holidays. So I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> good luck with that. All right, everybody, that's your collective reading for December. I will be throwing up um, individual signs so please check the channel for that if you are not subscribed please do so it's free set your notifications to all and not personalized and I will see you soon take care